All right, Flavor City family, what is up? It is Bobby, Dirk, all the way from Appleton, Wisconsin. Brah, brah, Rose in the house. We're having an ice cream party because summer is pretty much here. And I thought it'd be fun to do a best ice creams of summer 2021, both dairy-free and dairy, keto, all that good stuff because we talk about these in a lot of videos, but I thought I'd break it down uh, so you guys know what to buy this summer. And my boys over at Laird Superfood just came out with homemade brownie mix and homemade cookie mix that we made last night. That was amazing. They're both no egg, they're both dairy free, and we're gonna make a uh, brownie ice cream sundae. That's amazing. So let's start with something that, Dirk, you haven't tried this yet, have you? I have not. Dairy free, fans out there, raise your hand. We don't eat much dairy here. <laughs> Yeah, we don't. We don't. This, this is so good, Rose. This is coconut bliss. It's honestly Brad and I's favorite ice cream in the market, Rose. The thing is, it's got a little hard to find. So I'm going to have a little scoop here. And then why don't you guys start scooping around? Um, the reason why I love it is because, first of all, we're going to talk about flavor in this uh, review. We're going to talk about ingredients and sugar. Okay. Obviously, you're going to have some sugar when you're eating ice cream. The key is to minimize it with ice creams like this, and in some cases, if you're keto or diabetic, to avoid it completely with keto ice cream, keto ice cream, keto ice cream, keto ice creams that are really good for keto and diabetic friendly. So you guys taste that. And the reason why I like it is I'm gonna grab the ingredients as soon as Dirk takes that very small scoop there. I don't know why he's being so shy. So it's coconut milk based, but what's so cool is that it's sweetened with coconut. You want some rose? Here, I'll give you a little bite. It's sweetened with coconut syrup which is liquid form of coconut sugar. And then the actual peanuts here are real pe peanuts with no palm oil or peanut oil and vanilla extract. I look at the sugar, it's 12 grams of added sugar for a two third cup serving, which is pretty generous, I think. But it's 12 grams, which is three teaspoons of coconut syrup. Which one do you wanna try, this one? Okay, so it's not bad at all because if you pick up most ice creams, they're gonna have like 20 to 30, like your uh, traditional Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> we'll get to that one in a second, Rose. What do you think? I think it's great, it's really good. Wait till you get a piece of peanut butter in there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's crispy, it's like a peanut butter chip. And it just crisp out of nowhere. Nice, right? really good. Go on their website, find the store locator. Bar none, it's one of the best ice creams, dairy or dairy free, right, Brad oh, Brown? Yeah. You won't even tell. You, you even won't tell. tell it's dairy free, and I'm totally fine with 12 grams of added paleo coconut syrup so fantastic stuff right there they do it right now if you want dairy this is one of your best options it's alden's organic you want to try that one okay hold on it's alden organic it's one of the few organic clean ice creams i prefer organic <laughs> roses in heaven on this video this is actually a pretty decent deal we even picked it up at whole foods yeah. and per ounce it's not that bad but look at the ingredients my friends uh-oh, don't worry about it, Rosie. Organic milk, organic cream, sweetened with cane sugar, real vanilla extract, no natural flavors, which a lot of ice creams use natural flavors, and I'm actually okay with it in that realm, but they're using the real deal vanilla extract, and there's 15 grams of added cane sugar. Per, which one, you want which one? Do you want? Oh, I don't want you having this one, Rosie. You could have this one. Here, have that one. 15 grams of added cane sugar per serving is not bad at all, uh, because it's roughly just under four teaspoons, but for a dessert, that's not bad. I've never had it because we don't eat much dairy here. It looks proper. Oh, wow. That's a nice vanilla. Uh, this one? Alden Organic. Oh, yeah, it is, it is. That's really nice. Yeah, yeah. Which one do you want now? This one? The Aldi one? Okay, Aldi, okay. We'll talk about Aldi in a second. <laughs> My cow rose is contaminated. Once again, another what I call a food violation in the Flav City kitchens here. Uh, before we go on, I mentioned that my boys over at Laird have a new product. Um, Brad and I had it last night with Desi and the crew. Dirk will have it tonight. They have brownie mixes and cookie mixes that are dairy-free, egg-free, made with legit ingredients. The brownies, which we made last night, uh, which are super easy, it's like dumpster and bake, have incredible ingredients like coconut sugar, almond flour, zucchini powder, and chia protein. And the chocolate chip cookies here actually have a little bit of organic kale, but you can't taste it. And they're 100% dairy-free, made with next level ingredients. The flavor is fantastic. Right, we had these last night, we had a little taco Tuesday dinner party. You just crumble that over, 
<laughs> Dirk literally just got here off the plane. He's in heaven, right? Yeah. This stuff is great. It just launched on the website. They have a discount. So use my promo a link in the description box. Everything Laird makes is amazing. Now they have the cookie and brownie mixes with next level ingredients. So check that out for sure. Now, I wanna talk about keto ice creams that are keto diabetic friendly because if you are on a low sugar or diabetic diet, you can't have the ones we just talked about because there's still too much sugar in there. Aldi makes one of the most cost-effective keto ice creams. This is $2.99. Any of the Aldi ones are pretty darn good. I got this one peanut butter fudge because the ingredients were slightly cleaner than the cookies and cream. But this is kind of like a Rebel ice cream, but it's cheaper. And what's cool about it is that it's five grams of net carbs. So even if you're not keto or diabetic, I think this is the kind of ice cream you wanna eat because it's low sugar, right? There's actually zero grams of added sugar. It's just sugar naturally in the cream and the milk. And I actually haven't tasted this one. I've always recommended the ingredients, but Brad, if you wanna try that too. At Aldi, the price is right. Just keep in mind with keto ice creams, you have to let them sit out for like 15 minutes because the erythritol and the uh, stevia make them a little harder. Mmm. Definitely a texture difference from Alden Organics, but it's really good. Mm -hmm. But this one, Rose, if you're dairy free and you want a keto, you actually have two options. This used to be my go to. It's so delicious, which is always dairy free, but there are no added sugar line. Well, this one's hard, it hasn't been sitting out long enough. The no added sugar line, here, Rose, I'll put it right here for you. Oh no, she wants to get it straight from there. The no added sugar line uses the erythritol and the monk fruit. Yeah, it's a little tough, Rose. Let me get you a piece. They did recently reformulate, which is kind of bogus. They put a little bit of sunflower oil, which I'm not happy about. But once again, 12 carbs minus five. <laughs> is it cold? <laughs> 12 grams of carbs minus five grams of uh, fiber is seven minus the sugar alcohol of five. That's two grams of net carbs per serving and it's dairy free. It used to be one of your only options until this guy just came around. Brad and I picked it up mm -hmm. at this one. Wow, this is the craziest video ever. At um, Sprouts. The other day, it's called New Bocha, and it's sweetened with, oh, it's been sitting out a while. It's, been, it's sweetened with uh, allulose, which I actually prefer over the stuff like sugar alcohols. Desi, you wanna get in there, man? Like erythritol, because they're not as bloating. Um, it's a little expensive. Like it, don't love it. It's got a different texture to it. I, if, you, if you can handle sugar alcohols, I'd rather you get the um, one from Aldi or the dairy-free one from So Delicious. It's just okay. And that was expensive too, but good, it's okay. Good, not great. Like good, not great. Shrewd, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like Dwight Schrute. And then Rebel is available everywhere. This is probably one of the most solid keto ice creams that have dairy on the market because the ingredients are pretty darn clean, minus not having, um, or, or, oh my God, organic dairy. <laughs> Rose is voting, this is her favorite video we ever made. Is this good, Rose? A lot of fun, huh? Wow. So Rebel is a great call too. And then we got to try one of these. Um, I've actually never tried it, but at Costco, the Keto Pint Bars are keto with really good ingredients, and they're a dollar a bar at Costco, which is crazy. We just don't eat dairy here, but it's an amazing deal. Uh-huh. Everybody gets a steak. What? Oh. Did you like one? I'm sorry. Oh, that's a good one. Mmm. Mm. A little bite. Wow. Oh. Those are actually amazing. If you read the ingredients, something we've done on many Costco hauls, besides not being organic, that's about as good as they get. And for a dollar a bar, Mmm, diabetic, keto friendly. That's good. That's good. Very, very, very good. Wow. So, more? More. And Enlightened. Enlightened's another brand that's not terrible, um, but it's available everywhere. I'd probably choose uh, a Rebel over that, but it's a good brand to get because if you pick up the Ben and Jerry's or the Hagen Dazs, they have too much sugar, right? It's still dessert, but. The threshold for sugar for me is about 15 grams, which is why I love the Alden. After that, it's too much. And sometimes they can have carrageenan and other bad stuff. I will summarize this chaos and put all my best picks in the description box down below. Rose, no more chocolate, please. Wow. 
Oh yeah, that's it. We gotta put this stuff away before Rose. It's way too much. Um, you guys, like, subscribe, share. Let us know what other videos you want to see. Check out the layered cookie and brownie mixes in the description box. You're gonna love those. They're so bomb. Uh, for Dirk, mm -hmm. for Roasty, for uh, Brabra, for Desi. We leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep mm -hmm. on cooking. Mad love. And say bye, Rose. Mm -hmm. Peace. Say bye first. Mm -hmm. but more. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. There we go. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs> One more bite. Wow. Rose, you know, have them. Oh, my God.